Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching. My name is Nick and we are playing once again Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. In the previous episode we actually got a blueprint from Barbella to create a double-barreled bo bombard. However, uh, that thing doesn't really suit my style for defending defending uh, the town on this side because it also wrecks my town quite often. So I took it down as well. However, now she has a battle mission for us. Let's see what this leads to. She walks away as soon as I want to talk to her. Uh, Okay, that's the question I asked. Okay. Why not? That figures. However, we can talk as long as uh, we can because, like Gludemus said, those monsters won't attack until I say so. We're gonna that they are allowed to attack. So, yeah, I'm probably as ready as I'll ever gonna be. I probably can get back there. Um, uh, grab me some white petals and then make some uh, more healing cream, but uh, eh. let's see how we can do. Yeah, the dancing flames. Yep. Got that one. Oh, uh, I did forget something. I need some of that. And of course, Glutamus is not gonna assist in battle. Ow. Barbella is, and she is now actually using a iron sword. You know what I can do? This is something that those cannons are useful for. Just pick them up. And if they are corralled somewhere like this... You can actually hit them however as you can see this is why i don't want to use them as much just take a look my entire wall is broken now oh crap and they uh, man i have to go to the mountains again to Oh, 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 uh, don't, don't, don't get hit by the flames. Wait for the leg of the man, uh, well, the one controlling them to appear. And, oh, crap. It's so gross how the terrain around my town is actually broken at this moment. I don't like it. That's why I also don't really... Ah, uh, oh, Burly is... Ooh, there are three phase waves in this... Uh, you know, what I can also do... Ow! I can also just up my attack... Hey, 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 what are you guys gonna do? No, 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 no. Don't go inside. Ooh. 
This is what you have to do if you have a team as well. Just... If someone falls down, bring them to a bed. Although I probably could have be done... Oh, frick. Um, yeah, for this guy you do want to use a cannon because he doesn't move as much. He probably is now a little bit too far away. Oh no! Is it Burly or is it Maxi? Uh, and that is why I also... Is he down? Is he down? He's down! Oh well... I think I have a lot to... Ooh, I can teleport all. And we got a new buddy here, and Barbella has something. But first up, I need to clean this mess up. Uh, cleaned up the mess around here again, and uh, well, let's see who this new villager is. Shall we? Actually, let's wait until morning because I'm tired. A light shines in the darkness. Oh, I don't have to plop down the teleportal. I thought I had to plop down the teleportal first. Ah, probably those uh, cutscenes then uh, come at, well, moments when... Well, at preset moments after a Defended Town quest, I think. Images begin to form in Neek's mind. Long last, one who has come who will deliver me from the plight. Ah, uh, it's like unto a dream. So I do art the hero of legend, the one chosen by benevolent rulers to deliver this land from the dragon lord's clutches. Why, I do believe thou art abundantly big enough to put the fiend to the sword. Hee <laughs> hee! Um, is she talking about me then? Well, I'm pretty muscular, so uh... May the goddess watch over thee, always. Well then, mighty. Thou wilt, of course, escort me to my home, the palace. Oh, my beloved hero, I'm so very happy. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's, Nick can't remember. That was an interesting uh, cutscene actually, because this one describes something that happened near Cole actually. If you go to the south, to the place where we fought the dragon, there was actually a entrance to a tunnel. That tunnel would eventually lead to Rimaldar. And in that tunnel, under the sea, there was Princess Gwelyn, the princess of Elfgard, was actually held captured. And in Dragon Quest 1, you actually have to defeat the green dragon guarding her the green dragon that you just saw in the cutscene and afterwards you actually also had to um how do i say it 
bring her back to the castle. Although that entire uh, quest was optional. But you don't actually have to protect, uh, rescue Gwaylin or something. But the funny thing is, is that in game it's depicted as the hero picking up her and carrying her in her ar in your arms back to the castle. It is pretty much assumed that you then use a chimera wing to zoom back to the castle. However, it is possible that you actually carry her all the way back to well, Tentagel ca Castle and actually also go with her in town while still holding onto her. And you can still get into random battles. As if it's nothing. <laughs> oh, that game was so weird. Okay, we wanted to talk to you. So... Who are you, dude? That's a lot. Wait, 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 wait. You swam across the oceans? How are you possibly swimming? Or am I the only one that just sinks upon reaching a boundary? Okay, you're not a muscle dude. That's pretty clear, but... Seriously, do you have to insult these dude? Uh, Glutamus, Maxi and Burly because uh, they are actually pretty awesome, you know. They are not that depraved as you think. Uh, you might be the more depraved one. Yeah, I'm the legendary builder. Well, like I said, I am the legendary builder and this is the town of coal that I'm rebuilding. Well, welcome Bert. I see waste of gallon home. Okay, Beard is a bit of a funny one. He... Yeah, like, uh, uh, like you said, he's not one of the muscle men. The muscle men are from Cole. Uh, he is from Gallenholm. That's gonna be something. Um, well, let's plop down the... What, the teleportal, shall we? and make a twin teleportarium. Woohoo! Okay, now the thing is, we have two people coming with, uh, with, well, quests. Bobala has one, and our new arrival, Beard, has also one. But before I'm gonna pick up any of those quests, I first want to build myself an additional room. Because, well, in this episode we are gonna get a little bit of additional people in here. And for that I need one bed. I need a pot. Do I have? I have a pot. Oh, I already have pots. Um, I also need a, well, let's do a gentleman sign. 
You can also use a lady sign, as long as it is just a residential sign. And for the rest... I need dumbbells and I am forgetting something else as well. I need a door. The most important thing of a room to actually have a door. Okay, now on the rest. Uh, let's see. I also needed a lamp. I needed the portrait of a lady. And, well, it's not required, but a little table would be nice as well. And I needed pots. Okay, so I am... Really? Really? Okay, let's put down the portrait of a lady first. Next up, my bed, because we're gonna be... Now I'm gonna put my bed in a different orientation. I'm gonna put it like that. Uh, the pot I'll be putting over here. A table with dumbbells. A residence sign at the door. And a light source. And now all I need is to actually finish off the room. And I am building a bodybuilder's boudoir. It requires a resident sign, a pot, any bed, a portrait of a lady, a dumbbells and a light source. Being alone with Barbella, a private room. Being alone with Barbella and a pair of dumbbells is a bodybuilder's dream come true. Can be assigned as a resident's private room. Um, okay, I'm at level 4 now. I don't know. Apparently the portrait of a lady is Barbella on there. But... Wouldn't you actually ha would like to have the real deal? Being able to court her, but then again, only one person is capable, capable of courting her. Well, for now, let this be my room. I don't care much about the dumbbells or anything. Or Baba, uh, well, Babella, eh, maybe. I just want to have something that's pretty much my room. Something where I can go to actually sleep and not have someone disturb me. Okay, having done that, it is finally time to pick up a quest. And that quest is gonna be from Beard first. What the heck is wrong? Okay. Oh, you're engaged. Congratulations. Cecile, eh? But then again, how were you capable of leaving your fiancé behind like that? Okay. Why not? Um, one thing. These lousy muscle men. Lousy mu muscle men. Will not harm her. Monsters on another. Uh, on the other hand will harm her. So what would you would prefer to have? Bringing her, rescuing her and bringing her over to here? Or leave her out in the cold and with monsters to die? Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, you won't be joining us because it's your fiance, your bride to be. Hello. Apparently, he will not join us, even though it is his bride to be. Okay, well, um, no, I cannot ask Barbella at this moment. I think you can ask Barbella in a, in a party, but not when she has a quest going. Once we got the new weapons built, it'll be time to make... Oh yeah, uh, first we have to do uh, some rescuing. Uh, Glutamus, you're coming with us? <laughs> well, <laughs> he is still reluctant, but... Besides his fear, he is still joining us. And that is what I really, really think is a good aspect of Glutamus. He doesn't take it back. Oh yeah. About that, yeah, it's cold. Oh crap. It's that late already? <laughs> Let's go to bed first then. Does that disband my party? I hope not. No, it did not disband my party. Good to know. I never knew uh, about that. Maxi! Yes, I need your help. Sure, and I don't know whether you need to be dressed a little bit better because you're not wearing anything at the top and where we are going, well, let's just say it's not cool. Okay, for this, you actually want to get, uh, bring along a party because it's not gonna be easy rescuing uh, Cecile. Okay, we have that, and if you did not have any wood, here is your first thing about wood. We are also now in the area of Gallenholm. Um, items, let's go there first. Uh, I can put that away, put that away. And that means being in the area of Gallenholm. We are no longer, well, on the east side of the map. We are now reaching to the westmost uh, islands. However, we are not completely at where Gallenholm originally was. We are still on the third, and third island. And, as you can see, it's 
completely covered with snow. Thing is, this is no longer... Yeah, this is what this chapter is all about. You have two separate halves, actually. That's why it's also called Cole and Galenome. And it's not just... Just the uh, environment that's completely different, where this is all coal. Or uh, all cold. Uh, I am going to need something from you eventually as well. You also have completely different enemies. Ooh, Power Yowifer. I now know how to make a king size bed. Am I going to build a king size bed? Uh, probably not. Um, oh yeah. Uh, there are uh, also many different enemies. Enemies, although they do mirror the enemies. Ooh, Drakis! I'm gonna need something from you guys as well. Like the grass seeds. Freesia flowers will also be useful. And of course, we have a heart shaped fruit. And new to this chapter, we get sugarcane. I now know how to make Gunja bread. It fills hunger meter by 20% and restores 10 HP. So yeah, grab a little bit of this as well uh, while we're at it. This is also another enemy. As you can see, these enemies do mirror somewhat the enemies uh, that we had before. And cool. Oh, oh. Ow. Um, yeah, we had metal type enemies in the night. And now we actually have Hunter. Even those Chimeras. You think they might... Hey, we have Chimeras here. But... Oh, they cause sleep. Now the Ring of Awakening actually serves a purpose. However, you see that those chimeras were colored somewhat differently. Um, Maxi, wake up. Come along. They are no longer the regular chimeras that you know. These are hocus chimeras. Oh no 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 no! I have to! I have to! Oh no! Please don't! I'll see you again when I'm actually out of this. Actually, that's why we have this. Ooh. It makes me immune to, uh, yeah. The, oh, the only th uh, enemies they share are the slimes. Although the blue slimes will be a little bit more frequent. And now that we have come here, the quest marker is over there where we can see a girl. Let's talk to her. Um, if it's too dangerous, why aren't you running away? Or is it that you are being used as bait? Oh boy! Yep! We have ourselves some mech. Ouch! Time to attack them and also get myself a little bit better in the equipment department. Oh, and this is also a place where you actually want to be using the cannons for a bit, 
even though it is going to leave behind a big up mess. Ew, I do need to eat. Get a little bit more healthy. I can't... <laughs> oh, he is just a little bit too far out of reach. Uh, this made really a big mess of... Ooh, microchips. Those things you're going to need. A lot of. Later. Ooh, torch. Hello. Eh, this might be a little bit close. Yep. Yeah, we actually found uh, your fiance actually re uh, already reached to call, and he told us to come and get you. Yeah, he told us to come and get you, so... Yep, uh, pretty much. a little bit nasty. Ouch! Yeah. Cecile is also someone who battles. She uses swords. Just like Barbella. And... Well... I told you Beard was a funny one. He kind of got it in his head to... No, 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 no! Seriously? You know what? Maybe it's... Better to pick that one up first. Put this all away. That's why I have these things. Drachimas, you want to hurt them because they give you butter and butter is required for ice cream and a hearty cream cake and also pancakes they fill 60% of your hunger meter that's a good one also pancakes will be necessary for a mission later on so if you are wondering anywhere where do i get pancakes you probably haven't collected all the ingredients one of them is butter okay now that we are done let's go back Dude, we brought Cecile back here, and I do think you have to consider your life choices a little bit, dude. She doesn't think you are his bride to be. so surprised by that considering it's you that's what her choice is uh, 
Um, you might want to check yourself out. I think if she says she just wants to be friends, then it means she just wants to be friends. Well, maybe not. Maybe she actually likes it because she actually joined us in battle. Well, at least the price is good. Who are you? Introduce yourself, will ya? Here on the price is... No, 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 no. Let's not uh, have that contestant show. Uh... Yeah, and once I reach Gallenholm, I will be rebuilding that town as well. Don't you worry about that. You can go home whenever you wish there as well. Oh, Beard is so not gonna like this. <laughs> Do you actually have to give it to them? Isn't it capable of that they just will take it from you? Yeah, good question as well. Then how come it's your pres... Okay. You know, we will see about that, Cecile, we will see about that. And Beard, sorry, but it seems she actually likes the muscle man. Hmm. She actually has an interesting villager uh, uh, look. Okay, let's see, two, four, six, I think. It was a good idea that I made my own bed over here. But having said that, I think I'm also going to end this episode in this place. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I can see you again next time. As some monsters apparently appear near my base somewhere and I don't know where. Eh, it's not like they are going to get it. Oh, they are Max! Gallenholm enemies are actually starting to attack now. And... Yee! Don't hit me through it. Okay, uh, thank you all for watching. Bye!